Hey everyone. Now, if you've played around with radio, especially software-defined radio, you tend to find that one of the first things you look for is uh, some sort of voice comms, because it's interesting to listen to for five minutes. And what you may have noticed is most of the comms that you find use FM. So for instance, uh, boats use FM. Redland Bay Coast Guard, Redland Bay Coast Guard, Coast Guard 7-3, Coast Guard 7-3 on 7-3, Citrep, do you read over? Coast Guard 7-3, this is Redland Bay Coast Guard, go ahead over. Some amateur radio users FM. This is VK4 BUL Mobile, listening on Bayside. And of course these UHF CBs use FM. But one thing you might have noticed is that aircraft uses AM. So here's an aircraft transmission and you can see that it clearly uses AM. Climb flight level 390, Chris, then uh, final level 370. So in this video, I'm going to explain some of the differences between AM and FM and why aircraft still choose to use AM. So let's dig into it. Okay, so the physical setup I've got here is two Hacker Fs. So one's got the case on and one doesn't. Um, I've just got them there as the transmitters and up here I've got an RTL SDR dongle um, for the receiver. So that's the setup, just on the bench like that. Alright, what I've got here is two FM transmitters. I've got one with a, a techno sort of beat going and another one that's a bit more mellow on the audio. And they're not transmitting yet, but I will transmit them here at 930 meg. Um, this is FM, okay? So I'll just start one of them. You can see it there, and you can hear it coming through. Actually, I'll turn the background speakers down. Okay, so you can hear it coming through there. There's the first one, and the other one is here. Now, that's the hack R a different hack RF. You can see that the frequency is off a little bit. Um, that's because they're you know, not exactly the same, but we'll get back to that. But anyway, you can hear the sort of music that it is. I'll just turn it up a little bit. Okay. So that's them. Now if I transmit both of them at the same time, what you can hear is the techno one has taken over. Uh, you can't hear any of the other one. I'll just be quiet for a sec. Okay. So you can see that that's um, taken over. And if I stop, obviously it's not very clear, but if I stop the other one, you'll, you'll just hear it obviously. But what I'll do now is I'll just, I'll drop the audio and just leave the RF carriers transmitting. So there's two carriers there. Okay, um, there's one. So what I'll do is I'll move them so that they're on the same frequency. I'll just move that one down a bit. You'll see it'll line up with the peak of the other one. That looks to be about it. Now I'll start both their audios again. Okay, so what can you hear? You can hear just the techno sort of one. If I stop that, you hear the other one. So what I'll do now is I'll just mess with the gain of these. Okay, so what you can hear is the techno one. You can't hear any of the other one. If I turn this techno one's gain right down, sorry, the transmit power, at some point it'll flip to the other. There it is. So there's no mix as such, it's either one or the other. That's because the receiver locks on to the strongest one. So even though they're on the same frequency, you can only hear one at a time. That's because of the FM capture effect. Okay? So I wanted to show you that in FM first. So now I'll move to AM. Okay, so I'm in AM now, and I'll just start one of the transmitters. So same kind of thing as before, uh, same tracks. Here's the techno one, and here's the mellow one. Now if I put them on together, it's what your ear is, but get ready for this. Now, there's another noise there, okay? I'll get to that. So what I'll do now is I'll turn off the audio inputs to the transmitters and just have this one transmitter enabled, so it'll just have a carrier. If I put the other one on, you watch what happens. Well, listen, if I zoom in, you'll see these are the two carriers and they're, they're slightly off. Of, and the further I get away, the higher that frequency is. That frequency is basically the difference between these two carriers. Okay, so that's called the, that's, that's a beat frequency. And if I get really close, you'll hear it gets lower and lower until eventually there'll be none. Theoretically, if they're perfectly 
in phase and everything. So that's with both carriers on. I'll put the audio on now. This may be hard to hear. Here's the techno one. And what happens when I put the other one on? Can you hear both of them? They might be hard to hear, but they're both actually audible. You can hear the mellow one and you can hear the beat going off in the other thing. I'm trying to turn it up a little bit. A bit of a balancing act because you shouldn't really be doing this. I can hear it because I know what I'm listening for, but hopefully you can hear that there's, there's two audible. Because what's actually happening, I'll just um, turn this thing down. What's actually happening, all right, what's actually happening is when you have just a, uh, a carrier here, let's just go back to simple carriers with no signal on them. You've got a, a frequency going there, okay? So, okay, so because this is amplitude modulation, it's just gonna play any signal that's there. So any other, um, signal on that frequency is going to add or subtract to that um, that frequency. So if you add, let's say, this audio to that, send it around that um, carrier there, that's that's adding it. That's all that's doing is adding to the waveform. And if I put another one from a different transmitter on there, still in AM, its audio is simply going to mix. So what you end up with is a mix of the two audios. So what that means is you can hear both transmissions. I mean, it's a bit rough because it's not ideal. So in the case of an aircraft, if someone's transmitting and maybe their button's stuck, you know, they're just transmitting uh, nothing, instead of hogging the airways, someone else can transmit as well and you'll get a mix of the audio. So someone might have an emergency or something up there. Um, it'll just, you can just mix the audio and get multiple people on the same uh, frequency at the same time. And that's the primary reason why they're stuck with AM. Um, because it's, a, it's an inherent feature of AM that you'll lose if you go to FM or any of the digital modulation techniques. Now one thing that the Hack RF has is a clock on the back here. So you can get a clock signal out from this one and plug it into the clock in on this one. So then I'll be able to set the same frequencies and they should match exactly. So I'll set that up now. Okay, so to set this up, just go Hack RF Info and you'll see I've got two devices here. Now, the one that I'm feeding the clock into is the one in the case, which is my C3 serial. So, what I'll do is go hack RF uh, clock, uh, device that one, and info. And it tells me the clock's not detected. That's because I have to enable the clock on the other one that's doing the output. So what I want to do is enable the clock on the other one. So if I do hack RF uh, clock, now the device I want is that one. And what I want to do is set its output to one. So now when I check the clock input on the other one, the clock signal is detected. So it's going to clock off the other one. So that's the clock setup. All right, so now I've got the frequency set the same and you can see it looks like there's only one carrier, even though I'm actually transmitting from two hack RFs. Uh, don't worry about this frequency being slightly off. That's just the RTL receiver. I'm not too worried about that. Um, you can see though that the transmitters are on the same thing and you'll hear that there's not much to hear. So this is just with the carriers. If I shift away from it on one of them, I'll start to hear that tone again, that beat frequency. So I'll bring that back and disappears. So now when I start the audio on the transmitters, there's the dance one when it kicks in, and the mellowish one, You can clearly hear both of them. So that's what happens when you have two AM transmitters on the same frequency. And these are exactly the same frequency because of that, that master clock there clocking both the transmitters. You just get an audio mix of the, um, the signal so you can hear both. And that's why aircraft still use it because it comes in handy for their purpose. Now I'll just quickly show FM again. So this is FM and you can only hear one of the stations until I turn its transmitter power down. suddenly the other one takes over. There's no mix whatsoever, it just captures the strongest signal and it goes with that even though they're on exactly the same frequency. There you go. 
So what about interference? Well, AM is more prone to interference because of that thing I just showed you, that it mixes and just gets added into the audio. So for things like lightning, which affects the whole band, it will create crackles and stuff on AM. And I've got a bit of a recording from a stormy day here just to show you what happens in both AM and FM. So pretty soon here, you'll see a big load of energy across the whole band. Okay, there it was. That was a lightning strike somewhere around here, not too far away, because it's pretty strong. And as you can see, it just, it just has RF energy across the whole band, no matter what. And you may have heard that little, little noise there. I'll do it again. Okay, that was lightning. Now I've got the video in sync here, so you'll hear the thunder just after it. That's about how far away it was. So, so I did that. Now here's a couple more lightning strikes. Okay, there they go. And now there's a transmission. And as you can tell, the sound level was pretty much the same. So that lightning would definitely interfere with the signal. Okay, so here's a big lightning strike during a transmission. Okay, so whatever they were saying there just got overridden by the lightning. All right, now here's another example. Okay. Now I also did a capture of FM of one of the radio stations, but um, I'll only play a brief bit because it'll be copyright. But you'll see, you won't really hear any effect. Right, there it was. And you saw it was a pretty decent sized one too, but you didn't even notice it in the music. Right, so that capture effect is a quality of FM that doesn't exist in AM. And because AM is simply modulating that um, amplitude of that frequency, the more things that go in there, they'll just get mixed. So I hope that uh, showed the difference uh, between the two, and um, now you realize why they, they choose to use AM. So I can't see that changing anytime soon because of that quality. So anyway, that's today's video. So until next time, take it easy.